beginning of April, so you know what that means. It is time for my March favorites. I'm gonna have a little bit of everything this time as far as a variety, so I have some hair, some nails, some makeup, and even some random favorites, so here we go. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is actually a paint pot. This is my nubile paint pot. I'm sure you guys have heard plenty about the painterly paint pot and maybe even soft ochre, but this one is the one I've been using this month for my eyelids. Now, obviously my eyelids, that's what they're for. Um, so I was using Painterly for a while, but I found that it was just not a good tone for my skin. If anything, it made my eyelids look just really freaking weird. This one matches my skin tone much, much better, as you guys can kind of see right here. And it also kind of has a very light frosty finish to it. So if I just wanted to put this on my eyelids, it would be amazing. But I can use this as a base also, and then use my eyeshadow on top of it. So this is my absolute favorite paint pot right now. Faux show. Speaking of eyeshadow, my favorite eyeshadow for the month is actually in the Lorac Pro palette, which I'm pretty sure has been my favorite in past months. At least I know last month I'm pretty sure this was in my favorites. Um, this, this palette is obviously a favorite of mine, but it's a particular shadow in here that um, I've been using all the time. Every single time I do my eyes, I use the mauve shade, which is right here, top row. What are you, fifth one in? It's amazing. It is just what it sounds like. It's a mauve shade, it's beautiful. For me, it's nice and warm, so it's a beautiful crease color. I actually use this first, I kind of apply it in my crease, and then I darken it up with either Sable or Espresso, or even maybe even, even maybe even, some of the black shade, just to make it really, really deep. Um, so people keep asking me what I do for my eyeshadow and to do a tutorial, which, if you don't know, I suck at doing tutorials. I've tried many times and they just don't turn out well. So when you guys ask me to do them and stuff, I feel like a jackass because I can't. Or I can, but I choose not to. In any case, that's what I use on my eyes pretty much every single time I make a video. So if you see my eyeshadow and you're in love with it, it is from this eye palette right here. Also, I'm using this as a pointer. This is my Sigma E25 blending brush. I actually got this from Talia Joy 18. She gave me a set of uh, Sigma brushes and this was in it. I had a small travel version of this brush that I was using for ever and then I got this one and of course I'm still in love with it. It's the most perfect blending brush ever. Um, I use it to apply the mauve color. I dip it in there and just kind of rock it around here in the corner and then bring it up into my crease a little bit and it's just absolutely amazing. It applies the exact perfect amount of eyeshadow and helps you blend it out. So overall Perfect. My next favorite is something I actually mentioned in a recent haul video. Um, I got this from Ulta. It is the Tarte Emphasize Eyes for Brows Eyebrow Pencil. Um, it's perfect. This is perfect. In my video I mentioned, my haul video I mentioned that I would be repurchasing this and I would be repurchasing this when the time comes for sure. I don't see myself varying from this eyebrow product ever. Um, what it is, it's got a spoolie on the end of it like most of these things do, but then the pencil color itself is amazing. It's a neutral brown, so it doesn't have any red tones in it or anything like that, um, and it just adds the perfect amount of color. It's waterproof. Um, it goes on so smoothly. If you want to create perfect definition, like make your eyebrows look like gorgeous, this will do it. If you just want to fill in sparse areas, this will do it. It's just perfect for everything you could possibly. <laughs> if you want to draw a mustache on yourself, this could do it great for all occasions and all needs. Yeah. The next thing I also mentioned in a recent haul video, and this is my Nivea Lip Butter. Uh, uh, I don't even know what to say about it. It's great. If you guys are interested in trying these out, I really do suggest it. However, I haven't tried the flavored colored ones out yet. This is the only one I've used, but I really like it. As far as lip butters go, it is super creamy, super smooth, and long lasting. Um, I don't feel like this wears off very quickly. I feel like I can apply it um, and like hours go by and it's still there. I still can feel it on my lips. One thing I will say is if you put this on before you plan on putting on a lipstick, sometimes the lipstick doesn't go on as well just because the base is so smooth and slippery. It just doesn't have anywhere to kind of stick to. Um, so before I do lipstick, I usually just put on a baby lips. This is more of like a chilling around the house, just want something nice and moisturizing for my lips. That's what I use this for. I tried out a few new hair products this past month. Um, I have other ones I'm still kind of working on to see if I want to include them in a favorites or even just talk about, talk about them in their own separate video. But this one in particular I really, really like and it is from a company called Original Sprout. I picked this up on Amazon. I'll have links below for this and everything else I'm talking about as well. Um, but this is the leave-in conditioner. Now it is marketed for babies and up so it's safe for children. Um, and of course adults can use it too. It's 100% vegan, no parabens, blah, blah, blah. It's all natural, it's really great. I'll 
actually take my hair out of a towel once I get out of the shower. It's, you know, towel dried. I take this, rub it on my hands, put it in the ends before I brush my hair out, and it really does help um, detangle it, and then it's a really nice leave-in conditioner as well. So, the one thing I will say about these products is they're very expensive. So when you go on Amazon to look at them, they're, I don't even remember how much this was maybe 15 or $20 for this. And then like shampoos and things are even more expensive. But if you're in the market for something like this, if you have a child that you want some nice shampoo for, um, check this brand out for sure. This next thing I actually got at Walgreens and it was on sale. I don't remember how much it was. I apologize, but it's from the company Alba. I think I'm saying that right. And it is a body butter. It is a cocoa butter body butter and it smells like cocoa butter. It's delicious. It's very thick, just like a body butter usually is. I use this on my legs and my arms when I get out of the shower, especially after I shave my legs. This is just beautifully moisturizing and thirst quenching. It's not usually a way you describe lotion, but it does the trick. So if you really like body butters and you're interested in trying something out, uh, check out Walgreens. It might be on sale still. I don't know. I got it a while ago, but in any case, I definitely carry this product there. So you could probably pick it up there, you know. Um, now on Instagram, I post a lot of pictures of my nails of the day. Uh, if you guys have been following me for a little while, you'll know that I had acrylic nails on for a bit. I had to take them off because I'm allergic to acrylic. Sorry if you've heard that a thousand times, but people keep asking me how my nails have gotten so much healthier. I don't know that they're actually healthy, to be honest with you. I just make them look really good in pictures by putting on nail polish really well, I guess. Um, but I will say I've been using this product also. This is from OPI. It's called Nail Envy and it's a nail strengthener. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of use, I actually have a pH balancer that I'll use on my nail as well. I'll put that on. I'll put this on a couple coats before I put on my nail polish. So this is like my base coat and it's supposed to really help strengthen and um, protect your nail, of course, and add adding beneficial things to it. What is in this? I don't even freaking know. Just like most nail strengtheners, it has protein. It also has calcium in it, so it does help um, strengthen your nails. If you have brittle or weak nails, mine are really, really soft. It does help a lot, a lot, a lot. Now, what you're supposed to do with it, which I don't necessarily do, is you put two coats on originally or initially, um, wait a day, put another coat on, wait a day, put another coat on, and then I think after a week, you take it all off and start the process again. Um, I don't do that because I usually have nail polish on over it, so I don't think I'm getting the full effects of it as far as it really strengthen, strengthening your nail and helping it grow but it is a really nice base coat and I do think it's helping protect my natural nail pretty well. Speaking of nail polishes, I have my favorite nail polishes for the month, which are the Color Club Hollow Hues or Holographic Nail Polishes. These are awesome. Also on my Instagram, I posted many a nail of a day with this nail polish on, or a couple of them anyway. I had one with Miss Bliss. I had one with a combination of two of them, I think. I just freaking love these. They're amazing. If you are looking for the Holographic Nail Polishes, some people say they're having a hard time finding them. Again, I purchased mine on Amazon and I will have links below. I am an Amazon whore. I buy pretty much everything possible on Amazon, aside from like toilet paper, which I probably could and get a really good deal. My next few favorites are my random favorites. And the first one I'm gonna show you is mini eggs. Cadbury mini eggs are my absolute favorite candy in the whole entire universe. And they're my death. Like I could eat these and probably just get obese, like extremely obese from these. Um, they are, if you've never tried one, which go out and get them, even though they're done now because Easter's over. They're little baby um, milk chocolate eggs wrapped in a beautiful candy coating. <sighs> they're so freaking good and they're so bad for you. I'm not even gonna tell you how many calories they are in seven, no, 12 of them. Oh, that's not too bad, I guess. But I eat way more than 12 when I eat them. Cadbury mini eggs, give them a shot, try them out. You'll like them. You'll thank me. My next random favorite is actually my necklace I'm wearing, which you can't really see because it's not in frame. Um, this is from Papers and Peonies. So is my necklace or my necklace, my scarf here. I will have a link for Papers and Peonies below, but they have really amazing accessories. They actually started selling shoes and clothing recently as well. Really great prices. You can't go wrong. If you live in California, I believe they have a store also. So go check that out. And my last favorite for the month is a pair of sunglasses. I actually picked these up from Holt Look not too long ago and they are from Betsy Johnson and they are freaking awesome. These are cat eye sunglasses, but they're not like a crazy weird cat eye. They're like very subtle. Um, they have a little baby cute heart on the side of them here and it says Betsy Johnson on that side also. I am obsessed with these because they are, oh, I look cool. They are big, like I really like wide sunglasses because I feel like I have kind of a wide face, um, but they're not like obnoxiously big, I don't think. I mean, but if you had a small face, I don't think they'd look good. But in any case, I really like them. Girl, work it. Hello. 
I pretty much want to buy them in every single shade. So if they ever come on Hot Look again and you guys see them, please let me know if I don't notice them because I want to buy these every way possible. All right, guys, that is it for my March favorites. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Um, thumbs up comment oh good thing to comment about tell me what your favorites are for the month i would love to know because i'm always interested in trying out new things and seeing what else is out there thanks for watching guys bye